9720. So you found 9720, then it is times x raised to power 4, then it is times y raised to power 4. So the fifth term is 9720, x raised to power 4. Evaluate the middle term of the binomial expansion, 2x plus 3y all raised to power 8, and its value when x is a third and y is 1 over 2. So the first thing you the, the first thing you need to know which term is the middle term, isn't it? That is the first thing you need to know. So when n is 8, the power, the power is n. When n is equal to 8, it implies we have 9, 9 terms, isn't it? When n is 8, it implies we have 9, 9 terms. So when we have 9 terms, 9 terms means it is odd, isn't it? So when you have the odd number of terms, it means there is only one term in the middle, isn't it? So how do we get the middle term when it is odd? It is that 9 plus 1 divided by 2, isn't it? Just like the case we need in statistics when it is odd, isn't it? So we have 9 terms. So in 9 terms, which one is the middle term, isn't it? The middle term will be 9 plus 1 divided by, divided by 2. Then you end up getting the fifth term to be the middle term. Are you seeing that? So you come here and write what is the fifth term. So the fifth term, you know the fifth term, the first term is n combination 0. The first term r is 0, isn't it? Are you seeing that? So it means the fifth term r is r is 4. The fifth term is raised to power 4. Are you seeing where something go wrong? The fifth term is r is raised to power 4. Because the first term is power 0, isn't it? Are you seeing that? So the fifth term is power 4. 4, fifth term. So we have... <laughs> The fifth term we have n combination 4. 4, r is equal to 4, that is the fifth term. Are we together? n combination 4, then the first term in the bracket is 2x. So 2x is raised to power that 4, isn't it? 2x is raised to that 4, then the next term inside this bracket is positive 3y, not 3y, positive 3y, because there's a time when it will be negative, isn't it? Are we together? So positive 3y is the same as 3. 3y. Then there is now raised to power what? n minus 4, see Which is 8 minus 4. You get it is also raised to power? Are we together? When you add the sum of the powers must give you n, meaning 4 plus 4 must give you your n equals 8, isn't it? So go to the calculator and give me the coefficient of 8 combination 4, so that we are able to see the coefficient of that binomial problem. What is the coefficient of 8 combination 4? 8 combination 4, you have, what is the coefficient of that fifth term? 70. So you find that term, the coefficient is 7, isn't it? Then you start here. This, the first bracket where we have 2x raised to power 4, this power is for everything inside the bracket. Are you seeing that? So you start, 2 raised to power 4, you get 16. You are taking the power inside the bracket. Are we together? Then x raised to power 4, you get x raised to power 4. So you've taken the power inside the bracket, loss of BDC, isn't it? Are we together? Then you move to the next one. 3y, both of them are raised to power 4. So 3 raised to power 4, you get 81. Then y raised to power 4, you get y raised to power, power 4, isn't it? Then you simplify. So when you are simplifying, you start by multiplying them. The numbers, isn't it? So 70 times 16 times 81, what do you get? 70 times 16 times 81. 70 times 16 times 81, you found? 90. 70. 90? 70. 90, so you form 9720, then it is times x raised to power 4, then it is times y raised to power 4. So the fifth term is 9720, x raised to power 4, y raised to power 4, isn't it? Then after you found the fifth term, you will be told to evaluate its value when x is a third and y is a half. So simply means that what you are substituting, you bracket what you are substituting, isn't it? So you bracket x, you are going to substitute x, and you are going to substitute y. So when x is a, is a third and y is a half, we have the fifth term to be equal to 
90, 720, then x, which is a third, raised to power 4, then y, which is a half, raised to power 4. So what do you get? So you remember what is in bracket, you must put in the bracket, doesn't it? So 90, 720 times a third raised to power 4, then times a half raised to power 4. What do you have? Those who are using the right calculator, you must have found it very fast. Yes, this one. Is, is that a power? You found? Seven? You found 70. So the answer there is 70. Are we together? Yes. So when x is a third and y is a half, when you substitute those values in the given fifth term, you get 70.